I am on again. So two days in a row and I'm popping on live. I'm doing well, I think. Um, I'm really sweaty because I've just been outside setting up some outside stuff for my son who's here. So you may get a little three-year-old interruption. I don't know. He's in my bed at the moment. Anyway, I'm going to pop on live because I got some new goodies in the mail. I'm hoping I can see comments because I don't have the iPad set up um, to check the comments. So if you pop on, do say hello and let me know you're here. And I don't know. I Maybe I'll see a comment. I hope so. So what's really exciting is I got a new package in the mail yesterday and I got the brand new celebration goodies. So if you didn't know, um, Stampin' Up! are releasing... Hi Sherry, I can see comments because I can see your comment. Um, Stampin' Up! are releasing a brand new lot of celebration goodies. There's three more choices um, which go live on the 16th of February until the 31st of March. So they're not getting rid of their old choices, they're just adding three more which is really exciting. So. If you want this little brochure, let me know if you don't have a demonstrator and live in Australia and I can get this one out to you. But this is a look at the new ones. So there's a new um, there's a new stamp set this way. And then there's also some awesome designer series paper. So those both are $90 choices. So free with every $90 spend. And there's also a new bundle. It's very hard to know where to put this on the camera. So this is a stamp set and embossing folder. Super cool. And they've also got like a... Um, look at all the other products they already have released. Um, so I've got a lot of brochures there. If you want one, let me know. So what I'm going to do is share with you these new products that I received and I'm going to make a card with you using the new products. So this is one of the stamp sets. This is Eclectic Expressions and there's some really cool things in here. And do you want to scroll down? There's some in the, in the fridge. Um, then you, know, you can make really cool backgrounds with some of these artistic um, things on this stamp set. So I haven't used that one yet, but it's super cool. This is the $180 bundle that you can choose. So this one comes with a embossing folder, which is one of the 3D dynamic embossing Yay. folders, and also a, a stamp set. Now I'm using this one today, not the embossing folder, but the stamp set. So that's gonna be super fun. And it's not something that jumped out at me, but I saw something really cool done with it and I thought I'd kind of take my have my own take on it. And the embossing folder is kind of like a basket weave. It's called, it is called basket weave, dynamic embossing folder. And then the other thing that they are releasing is this gorgeous paper. This is stunning. So I have used this today. Um, there's three sheets of four patterns, I think. So this one's like a copper dot. How pretty is that? Awesome. You can get this free with a $90 spend. And there's this one. S stunning. I hope you can see the amazing foil on that. It's so gorgeous. And this would be super cool coloured in. So, And that's actually what I did today, which I'm going to show you in a second. Hi, Kylie. How are you? And then this one is a silver... Um, foil. Now this paper is like a glossy thick texture um, and this one is my absolute favourite and it's the one I'm using today. So it's a copper with touches of gold. How amazing is that? I just want to frame a piece of that for my wall. So I've already used over half a sheet of that. So that's the, what's it called? Springtime foil specialty paper. So that one's really exciting. Um, I'll leave that one out. I also got a couple other things in the mail. I got I, a customer of mine ordered these and I really wanted to order them too. So I got the new scallop punches, which um, are really awesome. I got this for one of my team members who earned that and a couple of prizes for an upcoming event that I've got happening. So I ordered the Heart Happiness, the Yay You and the Bird Banter and they're going to be prizes for my customers. And then I got this one because I hadn't, re hadn't already got this one. So I thought I'd give that a go. I haven't decided what I'll do with it yet, but I'm excited to give that a go. And I got a bundle because I did a big, a large order. So I was able to get something for half price, which is a really awesome thing about Stampin' Up! Because even if you're a demo, you can still take advantage of Stampin' Rewards and half price items. Um, so I got the Apron Builder bundle. So I'm really excited to give this a go. There's lots of really cool things in here. Um, I particularly love the one that says, I love stamping. So I want to make a stamping apron, I think. And the matching... Um, the matching framelits, which I haven't opened yet, have lots and lots of bits to use on there. How cool are the baking tools? Super, super awesome. So I'm excited to give that one a bit of a, a bit of a go later. 
But what I'm excited about, it's really, really hot here today, so don't mind me if I take a water break. It's really, really warm. <laughs> mm. Okay, so the card I'm going to show you today is using brand new stuff because I got it in the mail and I just couldn't help myself. I had to play with it. So that is the paper in the background that I shared with you, the foil paper, and I'm going to colour it. So I thought it would add, be fun to add a, a touch of colour to that. So I've gone with copper feel and I've actually done some copper embossing, which I haven't done in ages. So I've done a lot of berry bursts on this card and it's very unusual for me because I don't normally gravitate towards pink. So I made a matching envelope as well with the design series paper on the back. So I'm super excited to show you how to make this. So hopefully I can turn this camera better than I did yesterday. So we're going to give it a go. <laughs> so bear with me if it's going to be a pain. No, we want to go out. Okay. So hopefully you can see. Now I don't know if how well I'm going to be able to see your comments. Um, because I don't have the iPad because my son's watching it and I thought that would be a great distraction while I'm crafting. So, um, what I've done is cut a very burst card base and then I've got a insert for the inside, a layer of basic black. So these are Australian sizing. So this is half an A4 sheet, um, scored at 10.5 and then I've done everything one eighth of an inch smaller. So I've cut a basic black mat and then also um, a piece of this springtime foil in my favorite pattern, one eighth smaller than that as well. So what I'm gonna show you is how how I've colored this. So I'm gonna be naughty and use something that's not stamping up, but I find it really easy to use. So I've been using this for blending and it's just like a sponge dauber with a handle basically. So I've got my Berry Burst ink pad open now. The thing that's different about this paper is it does have a glossy texture. So I did find that the ink was harder to spread on this particular design, but it, you can do it. So uh, what I like to do is dab some on my ink blender and then I start from the outside and work my way in. So it just gives you a softer look. And I, you do have to use a soft touch, but this particular paper, it is... A little bit harder to blend on than say cardstock because it's not as smooth it tends to grip a little bit on there but it's it's okay it works and I love how it still glides over the foil so you still get that beautiful foiled look this almost looks rose gold but it is copper I think I hope <laughs> I might be telling you the wrong thing so I'm just going to work my way around the edges and work my way in I don't use much pink who loves pink I'm sure there's lots of you that do but I'm always gravitating towards blues and greens um, I love blues and greens but I thought it would be super fun with this coppery color to go with a nice vibrant pink so that's what I'm doing today. So you just work, when you're blending or sponging, however you like to colour, um, just work in a nice circular motion and that will give you a nice blend. So as you can see, I've got the top half pretty much blended. I just think you could do ombre looks with this technique as well. So you could do, it would look nice in blues and greens. can't wait to have more of a play with this paper. I'm just so addicted to it. I can see myself adding lots of it to future orders while we can still get it for free. I love celebration. I mean, how awesome is it that you can shop and get freebies just for shopping and things that you want to buy anyway. So get a few of those items knocked off your wish list and get some awesome freebies while you're at it. Right. So I think that's pretty much how I want it blended. So that's the berry burst. And then now what I'm going to do is I have actually pre-stamped some things. And the reason for that is because they required embossing. But what I might do, I do have ink on my fingers. So what's a bet I get an ink smudge and my son's crying. So let's just see how long it 
we get until we get them. Um, okay, so I'm going to use the very best again and this small butterfly, which is from the stamp set here. Super, super cute. Oh, didn't we kiss it better? Mwah. Okay, so I'm just going to dab this in the ink and just put some butterflies up the side. And I'm going off the paper a little bit as well just to make it look really random. So I might stick with five. So then we've got the insert. Now something else fun I did was I used my clear Wink of Stella while I just stamped these butterflies and ran it over the top and it sort of blends some of the pink to make it look like it's colored. And it also adds a bit of sparkle and who doesn't like a bit of sparkle? So I'm just gonna color each of these butterflies in Look what I just did. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you Kayla being cheeky and not wanting to restamp. Do you know every time I use white, I tend to smudge it? Okay. What I'm going to do is clean my hands quickly so that doesn't happen again. Right, we might go with a sneaky bit of DSP over the top there. And that was just a scrap sitting on my desk. And we'll just pretend that was meant to be there. So what I might do is stick this on the inside of my card before I smudge it anymore. So that's the inside done. Now we can adhere the, hi, lovely. How are you going? It must be late in the UK, is it? It's going to adhere our bright berry burst sponge piece to our basic black. And then we can, we're making this card today, lovely. So keep that there. Now we can adhere when I get my fast fuse going. I can adhere this to our card base. So this is using the brand new Celebration products, fresh out of the box pretty much. Now what I did, because we were using a copper, is I actually stamped the basket and some of the butterflies and emboss them in copper. And there is a reason I emboss them because they're gonna be super easy to color. So what I'll do is I might actually just cut this out roughly. So you don't have to stare at everything else that I've got going on there. And we're going to use an aqua painter and color in the flowers. So I actually didn't want the basket. I just wanted to use the flowers so to do that you simply have to just cut them out and I saw that in one of the examples which I may have handy so in this catalog here there's some examples and you can see here that they've used just the flowers and they've even cut some out and 3d'd them so that's super cool you don't have to use the basket you can do whatever you like so the thing I like about embossing with this watercolour technique is that um, the actual embossing keeps the colour in. So I'm just going to water that down and run this around the centres. I might actually go all the way around all the petals. Missing the leaves of course. And you can always go back in and add more color. So you don't have to worry about that. Now I have done this on a thick whisper white as well. So it takes the embossing, because um, you're adding heat to the paper, it sort of withstands the heat a bit better, but also this water coloring, you probably want to use a thicker cardstock or a shimmery cardstock. Now what I'm gonna do is go back in with a bit more um, solid color that's not as watered down and I'm going to add this towards the centers of the flowers 
and some of the edges of the petals. There's a really cool video by Shannon West um, from Stampin' Up! on this technique and that's where I got this idea from about using just the flowers and thought it was a bit fun. And I just whipped up this card and I thought, hey, why not go on, oh, thank you, lovely. I've been having a quick craft today because my partner's at a training course. So I'm like, oh, well, I've got the house sort of to myself somewhat with some free time, I thought I might just get crafting and I couldn't, when I get a new box of products, I'm always super inspired to use them straight away. You know, us crafters, we, when inspiration strikes. Now I'm just going back in and coloring the leaves with some lemon lime twist, which is my favorite color of all time. And so I'm just dabbing some beautiful lime green into those leaves. Right. Now, the last bit of watercoloring I want to do is I want to watercolor my butterflies. So, got these here they're also copper embossed and I just added some powder pink because I wanted to go with an alternate lighter color to my butterflies or you could just leave these white they would look really pretty white I thought I'll, while I've got the pink happening I might just go wild with it now I'm going to go back in with my wink of Stella and just add some sparkle. You, it doesn't matter if you go out of the lines because we're actually going to fussy cut these anyway. So I'm just going to add some Wink of Stella to my flower. Right. Now the fun bit is the fussy cutting. So we're simply going to cut the basket out of the way. So. I did cut pretty, I'll find my example. I have cut pretty close and it is tucked behind my um, sentiment. So I wouldn't worry too much about being totally particular. I mean, it depends how much of a statement this piece is gonna be. I've actually added it as sort of an additional element and a bit of a floral um, statement behind my copper circle there. So. I'm not gonna worry too much about being too fussy and because I'm also live right now and I don't wanna bore you to bits with cutting out too much because I'm sure you don't wanna see me fussy cut for too long. Okay. I actually love fussy cutting. I find it really therapeutic. It's the trick is basically to move the paper so you don't move the scissors, you actually move the paper and you get a smoother cut. I love a bit of fussy cutting. I've been watching episodes of The Crown on Netflix, which was about the royal family. And so I've just finished watching the latest season and that's something really fun to do while fussy cutting or coloring in even. Great thing to do while Colouring in some of our beautiful new stamp sets with the Stampin' Blends. That's a bit fun. I hope that wherever you are, the weather is beautiful. We've got a very hot day here. I'm hoping for a hot weekend because my son turned four yesterday and we have his birthday party this weekend. And I'm hoping I can set up some fun water activities for them to do. I know that... Here in Australia, all the kiddies went back to school last week, or if you live where I live in Tasmania, they went back today. Mom, uh, and my son's not quite old enough for school yet, so he's Ow! still home. Oh, so I've almost finished ah, cutting out. Yeah, you hurt your foot, darling. Oh. You're right, sweetie. What are you watching on Mum's iPad? You mean that? Why are you sorry? Mm, is it? Mean, 
and the other shoe and I know you can take my um, drink bottle into the room if you like and you can have some it's a bit hot so you... no, okay that's all right the good manners I can see your hands yeah that's because mummy's doing a live video okay, see you. bye darling things you do when you've got kids home hey as soon as I said I was on video he wanted to go <laughs> might be a bit camera shy Okay, so I've almost got this pretty much cut out. And you can see what the floral piece looks like without the basket. There we go. So there's our floral piece without our basket that's cut away. And I'm just going to cut out each of these butterflies. And these are super simple to cut out. They're a pretty basic shape, so not too difficult at all this free stamp set actually has two sentiments with it so it's got you are loved and here for you so you can make some super cute cards with that I've added um, you also loved to mine but you could add here for you which would be cute to give to maybe a friend that just needs a Hi, Nicole. How are you? I sent you a message back this morning. I haven't checked my messages since. Um, yes, I am just cutting out these. I've only got one more butterfly left and then I've done all my fussy cutting. Do you know, it's funny. Every time I do a live video, I tend to pick a card to show you that has fussy cutting on it. And I'm not sure that you might want to watch me cut out stuff, but... I thought it would be fun to show you this basket without the without the basket because I know that the basket wasn't that appealing to me so I wanted to give it a go with just the flowers and see how I liked it. And I had a massive urge to just create something pink this morning and I'm, as I said before that's just so unusual for me because I'm always a blue or green girl. I love my lemon lime twist everything mind you I did sneak some lemon lime twist into this card so um, it didn't miss out on the green I pretty much add lemon lime twist to everything okay so there's all our fussy cutting done now what I did next was um, punched out a starburst circle out of copper um, foil so I wanted to match in and then I've got a black stitch shape from our framelits and I'm just going to attach that on top. This is the second smallest stitch shape circle and I find it fits in really well with the starburst. Now what I did next was grabbed my card and I've adhered this floral piece down. So I'm just going to add a bit of tape there and I'll stick this in the corner. And then what I did next was cut I'm just going to cut my sentiment out. I did pre-stamp it, but I haven't cut it yet, so I'll just cut that out. And then I've used my triple banner tag punch to add a flagged end, which is not very even. <laughs> shorter than that so there we go now this one I stuck on top of my circle just over the top there and then what I did was added three um, no three two layers of dimensionals so it was a little bit higher so I wanted a bit of extra height on there um, and I was looking through my stash to find what copper things I had and I did remember that I had the copper oopsie, um, the copper metallic thread so I'm going to use that on my card as well Did something a bit silly then see okay okay we're going
going to take two with that. Don't, don't do what I do. <laughs> You're actually supposed to remove the backing from your dimensionals before you stick a second layer on. So we'll just do that again, hey? Oh, the benefits of crafting live, hey? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is grab my metallic copper thread and I'm just going to wind it around my fingers quite a few times. I like to add quite a bit. I love my metallics. That's why I love this new pattern paper that they've bought out. It's so cool. Now I kind of grab it with my fingers and twist it into like a figure eight and then I sort of play around with it a little bit and add it in and I sort of use the dimensionals to hold it in place and if there's anything I want tucked back I kind of am able to do that so and you can play around with it a little bit until you get it sitting how you want it to sit and pull the threads out a little bit now I'm going to stick this down to my card and then I've adhered my little nut I think these are called Nate natural touches of texture or something um, they're in our embellishment section and I absolutely love these white leaves I think they're so cute and I've just tucked that in behind my stitch uh, stitch circle and then now I'm going to use my copper um, metal ribbon that is so gorgeous this one you can fray and do all kinds of fun things with but I it ties bows so beautifully it's actually got a metallic like um, thread through it so you can kind of shape it and get it to sit exactly how you want. I love this ribbon to be, it's so much fun to use. So I'm just gonna cut a little bow and then add a glue dot on there. I'm running out of glue dots, goodness me. I actually am getting to the point where I really need to do an adhesive order because I'm running out of fast fuse and glue dots and all kinds of things. Okay, so I've added my bow on and then I'm just going to go back and add my butterflies. So I've added one here. Now I kind of like to go in a triangle and that's generally how I place my embellishments. So I'm going to go in sort of a triangular fashion here and add them like that. Now, the last thing I added was some sequins because I'm on a bit of a sequin binge at the moment. So I'm going to do the same kind of thing and add a, add them in a bit of a triangle. And then I'm waiting on my new sequin pencil to come so that I'm able to pick these up a lot easier. But I'm going to pick up the pink ones. I should get a knack for sort of how to pop them down without having them stick to everything. Okay. These are different sizes, so I'm trying to pick up ones that are slightly different in size. There we go. So that is my card. I hope you enjoyed that. So I thought I'd just do it super quick. So yes, I did add an extra bit in there because I did smudge my card. So that's what the inside is supposed to look like. So there's the card, and I don't know where else, where did I put it? Goodness knows, oh, here we go. Here's a matching envelope that I made for the original card, and I put the DSP on the back of the envelope. So I really like to make matching cards, matching envelopes for my cards as I go, so that um, they're all ready to send out, and I don't have to really think about it. I can just grab a card from my pile. I actually prefer the one I just did with the blending. It's a bit darker, and a bit of a, a deeper tone. So that was using the new Celebration stamp set. So don't be limited by the basket if you don't feel like using it as a basket. You can use the floral piece on its own. I love, love, love this little butterfly. It's super, super cute. Um, and don't forget there's a couple of other new options as well. If you would like a new um, Celebration brochure, let me know and I can pop one of these in the mail for you. It's got lots of great samples um, using the brand new products and all the bits and pieces you could buy with also a summary of the ones that they originally released that are still available. So I hope you enjoyed this little live crafting. I've been getting super more, super more, better organized at doing my live videos and trying to get um, creative for you because I know that um, it's always fun to see how things are made in person. So I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to check out the brand new Celebration products 
and if you don't want to wait until the 16th of February um, to order them, you can actually sign up under me on my team if you like. And not only do you get $240 at the moment in freebies, you can also order these early. So there's lots of pros and benefits for being a demonstrator that we get lots of great opportunities, um, which are really, really exciting. So. Um, that's always something to keep in mind if you are impatient like me and like to get things early and um, we'll get lots of freebies as well because we get lots and lots of opportunities to earn lots of great things for free. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will catch you on my next live video which I don't 100% know when it will be but it will be very very soon. So thanks for watching and see you later guys. Bye!